Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I will show you how you can use curl and PHP in order to insert a record or leads into Joho. In order to create a record, you need to first uh, create an account in Joho. After that, you need to go to the api-console.joho.com and here, let's click on get started and we need to choose the self client. So, and then click on create confirm it and here you will find the client id and the client secret that we will use later but first let's go into the generate code so from here we need to create a code um, uh, by using the scope so what the scope is it will allow you to do certain things with the joho api so from where you will find it Let's go into the johoapi.com slash crm slash developer slash doc slash api slash whatever you want get records or insert records. So if you want to insert records, then let's click on insert records. And here you should find the scope. There it is johocrm.modules.all. So this is the scope we need to use in order to uh, work with the modules. Okay. So before that let's show you the uh, file structure that i formed in order to do this uh, task so let's go into the code editor all right so i created four files in order to save some times for this tutorial so the first thing we need uh, is actually the uh, uh, refresh token all right so there there are already some code written so i'll uh, explain it line by line so you can understand it better so the first function is generate refresh token now what how uh, joho is working uh, at first we need to send a post request using curl in order to get a refresh token from uh, from the uh, joho system so what we will do we will create an object uh, php array like this and it needs basically five things first one is the code then the redirect uri the client id client secret and the grant type its value is authorization underscore code so it will fix and then we will send the curl request the curl request is working likewise we are connecting the uh, initializing the curl init method with the ch variable and then we are setting curl opt url and this is the url that we need to send the post request it is https accounts.joho.com slash oauth slash v2 slash token remember we are using the api version v2 and because we are sending a post request so we need to set it true we can use it use one or we can set like like this like true so let's keep it binary and then we are setting the post fields and this is the array but this time we need to uh, uh, pass it with, uh, within the HTTP built query in the in that method so that it will uh, uh, work as a query string and then the return transfer set it true SSL verifier set it false hence we are working from the localhost and then the HTTP header now it is important our content type will be application slash x slash www slash form uh, dash URL encode so our content type will be this one and then we are getting the response by executing curl x a curl execute function and then we actually encoding the response with json encode and finally we are fired up the response so by doing this and then at the last we are calling the generate refresh token this function so by doing this what we are we will get we will get a refresh token from it so in order to get those things we need these four values first so let's go to the uh, browser and all right so let's go to the joho api console so this is the first one that we need to uh, uh, get this code okay so Alright, so let's first put the Joho scope here. 
and we are pasting it and remember as soon as we are generating the code this could uh, this code will be active or stay active uh, uh, of maximum 10 minutes or, or whatever minutes you are setting so i am setting maximum 10 minutes for the safety and we can uh, uh, add some description here uh, let's say better be quick so let's create and selecting the Joho CRM this is my production and let's create and let's copy the code so this is the code after creating it will stay 10 minutes so let's put it quickly here all right and then we need uh, the client ID and the client secrets that we can find from here uh, this is the client ID and uh, this is the client secret and let's put the redirect URI it can be anything let's do a dummy thing all right so uh, this is the code structure now we need to run it uh, in our browser so I'm using jam you can use whatever you want so let's go to the browser and here it is my folder name is joho leads so this is the four uh, scripts that i do have so at first i will run the refresh token that will give me the uh, token that i want so let's run it and let's wait for some time as you can see it gives me access token refresh token and the uh, api domain and the bearer and the other things but what we uh, what i need actually is the refresh token from here so what we can do okay so let's uh, just uh, copy the refresh token from here uh, this is the token okay so i i'm keeping this in a separate uh, place because I want to show you something so let's keep it here for now uh, for uh, better viewing we need to uh, we can use uh, a printer print R and we can add uh, echo a pre in front in front of it so if I refresh now and see it is saying invalid code now why it is because uh, why is that it, it already says it's gonna stay 10 minutes but it is not uh, already 10 minutes but why it is invalid code joho what uh, what joho does is if even if you select the 10 minutes if you send request once and it gets back then if you try to send request again it will say invalid so uh, better be, uh, for our safety we actually kept the code so we can use this but uh, I can show you again if you want we can go there we can uh, generate again if you want so let's click on there copy it from here we can go there and refresh token we just uh, re uh, removing the previous one and paste it again and let's run this one again and this time it will come again so as you can see the refresh token is coming back again now let's copy this one and put it again so let's remove this we can use either of one so but let's try again for verifying my comments see it is saying invalid code so hence it is time binding but still you can send request only once all right so we uh, hence we are having the request token so now let's move on to the access token dot php now what this will do this will uh, uh, by this we will send another post request to the joho with the refresh token this time 
and we will get the access token in order to access their API version 2 and let's put it here and the client ID would be the same and the client secret as well all right and the grant type would be the refresh token and the other things are actually same as before and we are sending the uh, post request again all right so let's access the access token file so let's open it all right so as you can see it is uh, giving me the access token as well this time and the fun part is this time if you refresh you know it will not expire so the joho system wh how it is working that uh, the refreshed for the request of re refresh token it will expire for one request and if it is not then after 10 minutes or whatever minute you set but as soon as you get the refresh token and with the refresh token you request the access token you, and you get the access token then it will never expire so with this access token now what we can do actually we can insert the record and we can pull it off so at first let's use this access token and insert a record okay so let's go back to the browser uh, sorry code editor and open our insert record file all right so this is the file structure and let's put the access token here so we can use this variable later and this is the uh, post data format and within this there is another array and this is the fields that i'm gonna fill up but you can navigate to the joho and find out what fields you need but uh, these are the these i found these are the uh, fields that uh, i'm gonna use but within these some are the mandatory files like company last name email phone number i guess so these are the mandatory fields and uh, state description these are optional so i am using both the records and the optional fields in order to show you for better understanding so let's say uh, uh, what whatever let's say test company okay uh, let's say okay let's say Jessica Alba so let's say a l p a and Jessica and we can say Alba at gmail.com and state let's say uh, Virginia okay and the phone number let's say demo phone number and she is an actor okay and this is the trigger uh, object uh, array and it should be remain as same okay and inside there what we need to change is the url this time we need to use http www.johoapis.com uh, slash crm slash v2 slash lead so this is the url in order to send the uh, post request into the joho and this time we are using uh, post request so it will be staying uh, true and we are uh, this time we are not sending the http uh, uh, query build query we are using the json encode method in order to uh, encode this uh, PHP array into the JSON object like this and then the return transfer will be true verify SSL will be false and the uh, and another thing we need to change is the uh, HTTP header and within this we need to pass two things basically this is an array and inside the array we need to pass two things first one is the authorization and it will be exactly same uh, in front is jo joho dash o auth token 
and and an space and then the access token variable or the this string that we found from the uh, refresh token uh, request and then the content type will be the same application slash xsx from url encode and finally we are getting the response from uh, carl exe uh, carl execution method and then we are json decoding it because uh, we, uh, we are uh, actually we should not uh, yeah we, we, we will get the response so let's verdump it okay all right and then uh, we call the insert lists method like this okay so let's run this file into the browser so let's click on the insert records and open it in the browser let's wait for some time and as you can see it is returning the success uh, response that means it has been added into my joho leads record so and uh, for verifying that we will fetch those data by another get request okay so let's uh, go back to the code editor again and open the get records so i'm showing you all the process okay so we are we will use we'll be using the same access token that we are we have used into the uh, in terms of insert the records so we can copy it from here and paste it here and this time we are sending the get request remember not the post request so so our url is the same as before of the insert records url and this time because we are not posting it so we do not need the post and uh, we do not need the fields to send so just the transfer um, return transfer true ssl verifier false http header will be the same as before and finally this is the response we are getting and we are just printing it out okay so uh, remember uh, what we added we added the jessica alba and the test company so we'll uh, try to find that out so let's go back into the index and click on the get records all right so this is the big data that it gives us so there's a lot of information so let's search for our jessica alba here it is so as you can see this is the first name jessica this is the full name jessica alba and and the other things that we have added uh, here like if um, this is the email of her this is the description she is an actor and this is the owner of my name and this is the owner email and this is the company name and all sort of things so as you can see this is the process actually by how you can use this uh, curl and php and avoid using the sdk or sdk of joho and not learning another new sdk you can use your knowledge of carl and php in order to insert records in joho all right so i hope you like this video if you like so then give a thumbs up and stay connected until the next video comes bye bye